on a specific piece of machine or operation. So basically the components are as follows. The SCADA is going to be able to tie in to a PLC. The SCADA is going to be able to, very importantly, we'll talk about the distinction with the MES systems, control a piece of equipment, meaning it has the capability to start and stop a machine. And that nuance is very important because that will affect your architecture. But ultimately it's also able to store, so it's able to pull the data, the information from the machine. And unlike a PLC that is usually not meant to store large amounts of data, a SCADA is capable to track what has been happening over hours, over shifts. In some instances, you could do it over weeks or months or even longer periods of time, but usually it will give you at least some visibility into the past as to how the system has been performing. Now, the very important distinction between a SCADA and MES is the fact that the SCADA is going to track technical information. So this is going to be a very important point as we talk about what is the difference between the two, but ultimately a SCADA is concerned about the parameters of the machines. So I've mentioned a little bit the speed. I didn't mention PID loops, right? So it's going to be able to track your PID parameters. It's going to be able to track things like temperature, pressure, volume measures, right? So it's able to transform data, but ultimately it's all going to be on the technical side. It is very rarely going to be concerned with business values. For example, a SCADA is not going to spit out the cost loss on a specific line. It can be, of course, programmed to do that, but ultimately it is less concerned about the business metrics. It is a lot more concerned with the technical metrics of your process. And so this brings us to the next point, which is architecture. So I'm going to put here architecture. And basically the SCADA sits, as I've mentioned a couple of times, between your PLC slash HMI and your MES and ERP layers. And when I say it sits between them, it doesn't necessarily mean that the data needs to flow through the SCADA into an MES from a PLC. It just means that historically it has been developed as a layer that will orchestrate, as I've mentioned a couple of times, the operation of your mach machines, which are generally operated via PLCs and HMIs. So I'm going to talk about architecture here a little bit and so ultimately I'm going to create a simple diagram so here you have machine one here you have machine two here you have machine three so on and so forth so you have multiple machines again it could be discrete it could be processed it doesn't necessarily matter what they are 